On August 17th, 2021, I posted a video that had six original bank wrap rolls of Kennedy half dollars that I scored from a bank. Now we opened four of those in that video, but I kept two because I liked the toning of the end coins for my personal collection. That being said, I just want to get in here and open these rolls. It's time to do another variety search for something valuable in these original bank wrapped Kennedy half dollar rolls. Hey everyone, it's Rob Fine Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, I've got a couple of original bank wrapped Kennedy rolls that I scored from a bank. And a lot of you seem to enjoy the last video I did. And a lot of you even asked how I would even keep two still rolled and not take a look inside. Well, after the first four rolls, we had a pretty good idea of what we had. I think all of them were 64 Philadelphias. So we did check for two of the valuable varieties. We didn't find the DDR, but we did find one of the DDOs, the FS-102. Now, if you want to watch that original video, I'll have a link to it both down below and pinned up here for your convenience. That being said, in that video, I decided to submit this coin. I said it's probably an MS-65, and we did do a submission, and we did get it back, and we did get the MS-65. So obviously, I'll keep my eye out for any more FS-102s or 101s or the DDR, of course. I've never scored the DDR64P. It's one I've been looking for forever. That'd be awesome if it's in one of these two rolls, which is mainly why I want to get in them. Now, I'll be wearing gloves, and I will have some tubes to put these back in after I take them out, and I'm going to try to keep them in the original order with the toning ends at each side, but all the ones in the middle should be pretty blast white. Now, I'll set the overhead tripod up for you to take a look at that as I do it so we can do it live, and I'll try to expedite it somewhat, and then I'll search for the varieties off camera. If you'd like to take a look at the PCGS unboxing video where we had this one, I'll also have that video linked down below as well as pinned up here. All right, I've talked long enough. Let me go ahead and get my gloves on, set the overhead tripod up, and take a look at what's inside these rolls. All right, in order to cut back on the glare because I'm wearing blue gloves, I'm not gonna have the extra overhead light on. Whenever I turn it on, we get too much yellowing in the coloring because of the offsetting of the blue gloves. So hopefully you guys can see these just fine. We're gonna start off with this roll right here. And uh, I know the original bank wrap rolls, if they're the same as the last four, because inside, after the toned edge, we should have a lot of blast white Kennedy half dollars in here. And that's always exciting to look at. So hopefully it comes out good on camera. All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna open these up. We're gonna go through them, make sure they are original bank wrap rolls. And then we will uh, go ahead and take a look at the coins together. But I will look at them off camera when I do the variety search. Now I'm going to be careful here. I just got to get the edge started, and I don't want to touch the uh, don't want to touch the half dollar. That being said, I am not keeping these rolls, so I don't care about damaging them a little bit because I don't need these types of rolls. I have plenty of them in my collection. All right, looks like we got the first part done. Let's go ahead and uh, peel it back a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. And as you can see, the last coin has toning and then it becomes really nice after that. And I'm just gonna set these out for now. And then we'll take a look at them together really quickly. And again, I apologize, I'm zoomed in quite a bit. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit so you guys can see more of what I'm doing since we're not looking at these up close just yet. And if it's anything like before, they should all be Philadelphia minted. And there are less varieties in the Philadelphia mint than the Denver mint, but there's a valuable DDR and that's really what I'm doing this hunt for more than anything. Doesn't mean we're gonna get it, likely not, but we'll try. So here's the two end coins. They're toned as if they've been exposed to the elements, which they have been. And then all the coins on the inside look really good. All right, the next step is for me to put them under my microscope and I'll be looking for three different varieties. The FS 101, 102, and then the DDR, I think it's the 801. So if I happen to find any of those after I go through these, I'll bring you back in with a recap of the roll after I've got it in the tube minus any varieties. 
I figured since I'm not showing me look at every single coin under the scope, I'd at least show the first one under my scope. And for those that need a coin scope, I do have a link to my pluggables coin scope, which is an affordable and easy to use one down below. But I've got the obverse of the Kennedy half dollar under the scope. And on my screen, I'm just taking a look at the words in God to see if there's any doubling, as well as the words we trust. And at the end of the video, I will show you guys what I'm looking for on these for the two different DDOs. Once I've deemed that there is no DDO, I flip it over to the word states. And again, I will show you at the end of the video what I'm looking for on here, but there'd be some splitting on all of the S-T-A-T-E-S -E in the word states. And I don't see anything on that one. So the first coin is a bust, but I have to go through all the coins, which I'll do off camera and then come back. Well, I'm back and I've already looked for the DDRs and the DDOs on all of these 20 1964 Kennedy half dollars. And unfortunately, we didn't have any. I kept them in the order they came out of the roll. And I'm going to put them now in this tube to put back into my collection. Can't always expect to find a variety, but that's only one of the two rolls. And for those wondering, at the end of this video, I will show the different varieties I was looking for with some information. That way, if you have some 64 Kennedys of your own, you can look through your collection. One roll down, one roll to go. Let's go and open this one up. It's got both end coins shown. Both are Philadelphia, just like the last roll. And let's see if we can get any goodies in this one. It would have been nice to see like a Benjamin Franklin half dollar or a Walking Liberty, but again, I'm not expecting anything like that since I haven't seen it through the first five rolls we've now hunted. All right, well, it looks like we have more of the same. And in order to save you some time, I'm just going to go ahead and start laying them out, and then I'll be back with a wrap-up of what we found in the next roll. Figured I'd give you a quick look at them laid out before I hunt them. And yeah, these two end coins were the whole reason I kept them. I love the toning. Obviously, there's not much toning on the other side. But just wanted to give you a quick look at them. I'll be back after I look through them. Well, I'm back. Unfortunately, neither roll had any varieties. But fortunately, I did add a couple of rolls of beautifully uncirculated, somewhat toned. Some of them more toned than others. 90% silver, half dollars to my stack. Now, as promised, I said I would at least share some of the varieties I was looking for, even though we didn't find any. And I do have that information in the previous video. But as a quick reminder, for the 1964 Philadelphia, you're looking for the 101 designation. And that has doubling on trust. And for sake of time, I'm not going to open up the screen and show you all of the markers. But you can clearly see all the doubling that you have on the word trust in the motto. And the same thing for the 102. It's not as heavily pronounced, but you can still see it. It's on the inside of the U versus being North and South. That's the 101 and 102 for DDOs. And then the DDR they've been trying to find forever, the valuable one is mainly on states. You can see doubling at this bottom Sarah for the S. You can see it to the right Sarah for the T. You even have it on the bottom right Sarah for the A. And then of course these two markers on the T as well as on E and S and even on some of the stars. I know I went quick through that, but again, I've covered this in the previous video. Like I said, it's always fun looking for varieties. Wish we would have scored one. We only found two out of the other four rolls, and both were the 102, and this time we had 0 for 2. But still fun going through them, and like I said, I can add them to my stack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this short two-roll hunt. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.